let's talk about the twaddle tendency. Now, Pythagoras once said that silence is better than unmeaning words. Now, the root of unmeaning words often comes from this twaddle tendency. Well, let's talk about a little experiment that some scientists did once to do with honeybees. Now, usually when honeybees find nectar, they go back to the hive and they do a little dance to the other bees to indicate that they have found nectar. Now, what the scientists did was they move the nectar into a position where it norm normally wouldn't be in nature. So perhaps really high up in a tree. So what this effectively did was make it very difficult for the bee to communicate to other bees the location of this because this arrangement doesn't happen in nature. So what you would assume is maybe the bee just wouldn't have attempted to explain to the other bees where this thing was because it doesn't have the tools. However, what the scientists observed was that it did. It instead just did an incoherent dance that ended up confusing the crap out of the other bees. Now, humans are somewhat the same. When people are not sure about something or they have poorly formed ideas or don't fully understand a concept, instead of staying quiet about it, they'll often try and mask their ignorance using an array of words trying to make things a bit more complicated than what they seem. You might have seen this in politics when someone asks a politician about some policy or something that the politician is ignorant about. Instead of just explaining that they're ignorant about it, they'll walk around the subject, mention random things. I think George Bush was notorious for this. Or another popular incident that happened is in 2007, the Miss Teen USA, when asked about how one-fifth of the Americans are unable to identify America on a map. She, her answer was, well, I'll just play her answer. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as and I believe that they should uh, now you've probably seen your friends twiddling and perhaps you were a victim of it as well perhaps you did it without knowing it and what you notice is how ridiculous it sounds when you're listening to someone talk out of their ass so in the future, if you're unsure about something, to save yourself some face, don't talk about it. Explain to the other person that you are unsure or just stay quiet. But whatever you do, do not try and talk about it because your ignorance will be exposed to everybody. Well, you might be able to fool some people, but not everyone. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Peace, more to come. Just do it!